This is Red Ark and we're going to install the Topro Late V3 in the 2020 and 2021 Toyota Tacoma. This installs for a Tacoma with a tow package. First, let's go over the parts that you'll need for this install. You'll need the wiring harness TPH-015. You'll need the replacement plug TPSI-002. You'll need the standard mounting bracket EBMK-001. And last is the Topro Elite V3 brake controller. Let's go over what's in the box and what you will need and will not need. First off is the brake controller unit itself. On one side, it has the plug for the switch controls, and on the other, the plug that goes to the truck. The main unit is small and compact. Next in the box is the remote head unit, with the dial on one end and the plug on the other. And then last on the top of the box is the dial itself. In the rest of the box, we have the universal wiring harness. Then we have the wire that connects the Topro to the dial, the remote head bezel and head nut, and a square switch insert. Remove the floor mats. Gently pull to remove the side trim piece. To the left of the brake pedal, you'll see one hand removable nut. Remove and set aside. Gently pull and remove that trim piece. Underneath this panel is where we will later mount the ground point of the Topro harness. Also behind this panel is where we will connect the Topro harness to the truck. Before we do any electrical work, let's disconnect the battery. To remove the dash panel underneath the steering column, there will be three screws to remove. Two to either side of the airbag and one on the very far left. Gently pull out to pop off the panel. We don't have to unplug any wires, we're just going to let it hang there. Next there are four bolts that hold on the airbag bracket. Gently take off the airbag, we're not going to unplug this, just let it hang there. Where we just removed the airbag, find the two mounting holes. Directly back from those on the back bracket is where we're going to mount the tow pro. Mount the tow pro to the tow pro mounting bracket in this orientation. The larger lower slot is where we're going to put the bolt through to mount to that bracket. Let's check it out and see how it fits without attaching the wiring first. Let's get our tow pro ready to install. The white wire on the harness will be our ground point, and the white plug is the part that we connect to the existing tow package plug, and the other side is what connects to the tow pro. Let's assemble the adjustment dial. Put the remote head into the switch insert. It will only go one way. Screw on the remote head nut. It is plastic and see-through because it's backlit by LEDs and that's how you see where you are with the dial. Now let's put the dial on as well. On the left side of the dash that we dropped earlier, let's pop out the upper blank switch insert and insert the switch that we just assembled. Next, let's connect the tow pro to the dial. Now fish the plug side back through where we're going to mount the tow pro. Put the tow pro unit into place and using the supplied nut and bolt, attach the tow pro to our mounting point. Tighten it down and make sure it's secure. 
organize and zip tie all the extra cabling between the dial and the Topro. Gently reattach the airbag and screw it all back down. Reattach the lower trim piece underneath the steering column. Let's wrap this install up. Attach the Topro harness to the existing plug in the truck. Attach the white wire from the Topro harness to the ground point on the sidewall. Organize and zip tie up your wiring. Put your front trim piece back on. Secure with the hand nut. Put the side trim back on next to the door. Reconnect the battery. Turn on your vehicle, press in the dial and see if you have power. Now that power is established, let's switch between braking modes. To change between braking modes, you must have a trailer connected and beat a complete stop. Rotate the dial all the way to zero. Release the brake and then apply the brakes. Double tap the knob. You will see the LED change from blue and proportional mode to green for user control mode or vice versa. And over the course of regular driving and braking, the trailer brake will calibrate in the orientation that it was mounted. The only time you need to recalibrate is if you move the positioning or the location of the brake controller. Now let's go over the difference between the Topro Liberty and the Topro Elite. The Topro Elite is the best controller for all terrain, all weather towing with its two brake modes, on or off road. The Topro Liberty only utilizes Red Arc's proportional braking for everyday towing on highway conditions. Both of the main control units are approximately the same size and install in the exact same way. Installing this brake controller typically takes around 30 minutes.